All right, welcome back to another episode of uh, Nakai killing everybody. This guy's beastly. Anyway, uh, so I tried to look it up, but I fell asleep, so I have no idea what I'm doing still. Uh, but all I know is that once we capture a town, we can give it to one of the gods. I think they're gods, right? Or temples, and that's how we get the points. And then we click on this, oh, old ones, and then we spend um, this unit and we get something. I guess that's how it works. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and try to capture these two bases on this episode. But first, let's go ahead and level him up. Or, I guess we did level him up already. Uh, what did we do? Who else? Oh, yeah, we got a... Uh, yeah, Skink Priest of Heaven. Let's see what he can learn. Honic Con Convergence. Uh, let's see. Wind Blast. Uh, this is actually good. This uh, saves, saves our men. Because uh, they, uh, they can't hit them. Let's see, Thunderbolt. This might be good to thun Thunderbolt. Uh, Chain Lightning is always good, but I, I feel like it's overpowered sometimes. It just like wipes out like two squads or two two units. But let's go ahead and uh, put points in this uh, skink. Uh, additional effects. Da 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 da. Yeah, this should be good. Okay, let's go ahead and attack. Do I need to buy anything? How much money do I have? Uh, we're broke. Crap. What? What? No. We want the whole, the whole army to attack. Sweet. Monsters gonna eat some human flesh. Also, I was planning on actually uploading this. Oh crap! Did it just crash? Okay, good. I was up. I was planning on up um, doing this episode yesterday to make it like every other day. Um, but well, I was too busy. It took forever to get back. Uh, from work and that's why my upload times are all screwy well that's my excuse anyway let's see where is Nakai this guy's ginormous let's go ahead and gamble since we're not using magic at all uh, let's see sacred croxigore they have some weird attack that they do so they're good uh, should I focus my Croxigors on one, one side? Hmm. Yeah, let's go focus our Croxigors on one side. That way, they just bulldoze through everything. Um. What else? <laughs> Put our SARS units right here. Skink Priest can go here. Uh, since there's no uh, general, we're gonna put him here in the middle. Um, what's this? Yeah, that's fine. What's this? Spears. Guess we can put them on the side right there. Okay, so we're just gonna face uh, face crush the enemy anyway. Monster army. This guy's uh, walk funny. They run faster though. Um, what was it? K I yeah I. They made the Croxigors go a lot faster compared to the Skinks. Let's see. Oh, they're about the same as the Skinks, actually. 
That makes it so much better. So our slowest units are the Saurus units, actually. They go 31, so everybody else is 40-something. But the Saurus are just slow. Okay, let's take a look at our enemy army. So all these guys are gonna die. Um, I think the ones that are gonna damage us are probably the Axe guys and this champions. We're just gonna go attack. I still don't know what the attack move, uh, what I need to press to do the attack move. So they attack the nearest uh, group or what have you. Oh wow, they just got hammered. Look at that. Does he have anything to do? Oh, Rampage, right. Let's try that. What does this do? Um, plus 22% physical resistance and high melee attack. Holy crap, that's not good. Uh, the fight's so easy that I, I didn't even look. Let's see if they're gonna actually make it here. I'm surprised they're still fighting. I don't know if they're running away already. What are these? Uh, 55 melee attack, 55 melee defense. That's a really good. Yeah, they're, they're screwed. There's no way. They screwed up. Big giant monsters are coming. Oh, that was too easy. Uh, let's see. I wonder if I can afford to make like a full Croxigore army. Like just a crap ton of Croxigores and uh, I'm just going to face smash it with another army. That's, it's probably not going to be effective, but I still want to do it. So, our skink, our skink chief is the only one that took the most damage. Uh, he can't fight for crap, apparently. Yeah, this guy's uh, killed the boss. 
32. Uh, I think those are my little skinks. Yeah. Because I don't think uh, any one of my Croxigors died. Especially the Sacred Croxigors. They, kill, they slaughtered way too much on that first charge. Oh no, no. Uh, two Croxigors died. That's okay. Uh, magic resistance, we need to get rid of this. Eventually. Okay, how come it's plus three this time? That is weird. Who should I give it to? Uh, since we already have a point in Itzel, let's go ahead and put it on Itzel. I'm not actually sure what this is for. Oh, Beast. I think that's for the Carnosaur. Uh, yeah, Blessed Carnosaur. So we're gonna get that or the Blessed Croxigors. Um, let's see. Saurus. Let's get Chief. Uh, we could also go to the middle one for the for the bolus. Yeah. Pterodons. Um, temple guards. I hate temple guards. We could use more dinosaurs though. Rite of Allegiance. See, so, so this one, all re regions belonging to the defenders of the Great Plains will cause attrition. Okay, so pretty pointless for me. <clears throat> Untainted. I probably should do that sometime. Hmm. So this is what I want, Sacred Guardian, okay. For Croxigors, yeah. Uh, we're gonna go for map stuff first. Um, probably Horde Growth. Yeah, maybe. Recruitment cost is also a good one because they're so expensive. Let's go for some recruitment costs. Our horde growth would be fun too, but did you make an army? Yes, that's all I can do. Okay. Got to end my turn. Oh wait, let's see if I can buy something. Uh, no, I cannot. I guess I can buy one, maybe. You know, two hundred fourteen. Yeah, let's go buy one. Um, that should be good, right? Does that work? Yeah. Okay. I was expecting the vassal um, states to like produce an army, but they're not doing any of that. So I'm not sure what's happening. I'll take over this island and then I'll go kill some zombies pirates.
Also, I'm surprised I, I need to go get the Regiments of Renown uh, DLC. I thought I had that already. So I'm not sure what's up with that. Why it's I need to register onto their website, to the Total War website. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> So it's gonna take a while, so let's try to. They have no army, that's why I'm doing this. Uh, I gotta end my turn again. And I guess I need to make another army, but I don't have the money for it. Surprisingly, no one is the wage war on us. Besides this group. So I guess after I'm done with this, with this island, I go north. That's where the rest of the enemy is, I guess. There we go, finally. Takes forever. Okay, casualty replenishment. Okay, so that should help with our growth. Let's see what would happen if I auto resolve this. Since this is the same exact army we've been fighting against, and we barely lost anybody when we fought them, let's see what happens. See, that's the problem with auto resolve. In actual battles, we don't lose this many, but we lost so many, even Croxigors and Sacred Croxigors. So, that's a problem. Okay. How come we only gained one? Minus five attack. That's really good, actually. Look, look. Hmm. Should make everything cost less. There, yeah, there we go. Still expensive, six hundred ninety for one. I'm so used to like uh, my skeleton units when I'm the vampire counts. Let's see. I'm gonna go with.
This is pretty good, Rolling Skies, so let's go with that. Uh huh. Hex constant. Oh, it's only for wing cre creatures. Yeah, it's, it's not that good. Never mind. Mm. Let's go with Thunderbolt. Oh, wait, wait. Maybe we should go with... Let's see. One, still technology. What else do we have? Yeah, scouting. We need more... We need more of this. How come we can't equip followers? Weird. That's weird, they can't equip followers. Okay. Can we fight? Guess we really have to go north. Look. What? It keeps on changing. Not sure which direction we're supposed to go, but we're going to try to go north and see what's up over there. And so far, the problem that I'm seeing with this uh, Spirit of the Jungle faction um, is that we're going to have a problem with our upkeep costs, money. This is like, we have three settlements, but it's only giving us that much money, 240. So, that's going to be a problem. We can't keep like a, a giant army. There must be a, a way to make more money. Let's take a look actually. Upkeep. Uh, I don't think this was here before. I think they added this. We have uh, Feral Saurians now. Dread Saurian. I, was that here before? Feral Carnosaur? I don't think they were. Fer feral, feral Dread Saurian. Saurian, yeah. Hmm. So now we have this too. Uh, uh army capacity.
so that came out of nowhere. Uh, I think we can buy it actually, 2,000. Let's go ahead and buy this so that way the sooner we do this the sooner we get more money so right now we're our upkeep or our balance is 107 on the positive and let's see what happens once we Yeah, once the turn is over, let's see how much we, how much money we get. I wish we got more money when uh, sacking or destroying a settlement or an army. Yeah, I like how the horde gameplay works, but I just wish um, we have more money. That's my problem with the Beastmen. Uh, I like playing as the Beastmen, but I always have problems um, during the beginning of the game. We just don't have money. So now no uh, no real bonuses right here. So we don't have to worry about that. Um, so from 107 we got 236. Eh, better than nothing I guess. Let's go ahead and move. <laughs> I guess we can go there. Yeah. Yeah, that should be good. So we need to get to tier 3 at least 6,000. So we got minus 15% upkeep for everything and another minus 15. So, so a total of negative 30. So negative 30 upkeep and we got some extra upkeep removal or yeah so another where was it so another negative 15 so that's 45 so we're already almost halfway and uh, minus 8 so that's negative 53 so more than half uh, let's see if there's any more. No top one. Yeah, that's it. So at max, uh, we're looking at ne negative 53% upkeep. So that's pretty good. We could at least make sure that we have another army. Well, this is actually just 12 units, 12 unit cards, and it's already stretching my limit. Hmm. They're really expensive. Uh. The, uh, the lizard men army. Oh, here's another negative five percent. So that's good. So 53, that's no, minus 58, uh, negative 58 percent. So that's good. Looking for more, anything that will lower our upkeep. Uh, let's 
see, maybe here. I guess that's it. At max, we have no negative 58% upkeep. Okay, so I guess that's good enough. Uh, let's go ahead and end the turn. Hopefully, we're actually able to fight another army that's bigger than ours. Oh crap, I totally forgot to uh, let them heal up first before before I have them fight again. Oh well. Hopefully no one attacks us. If they attack us, we're screwed. Faster? No. Now this is slow. There we go. Much faster. Okay, so we can go to Pack Ice Bay. Where's the rest? Uh, I know there should be one here too, so I think we're gonna go north he here first and then we're gonna destroy Pack Ice. Uh, the army has to be somewhere. Now that I think about it, uh, I should include some skinks in my army. Mm. They made a confederation, so that's going to be a bigger army once I get there. Oh, and the other thing I thought of is if I make another army, they can only um, get recruits from the global, global recruitment, and that's like three times the amount, so it's really expensive. There it is. Okay. Let's see. 
So we can't. We can. We can get some guys. Uh, I think it's better to just attack. What? Hellspire tribe? How? Where is it? It's saying that we encountered it, but I don't see it. Ah, eh, whatever. Razor Dawn hunting pack. What's a Razor Dawn? I think uh, I guess that's one of the new new units with this DLC. Uh, I don't see the salamander. This, do we have salamanders? We got red skinks. There should be salamanders. Uh, where is it? What the heck are the salamanders? Oh, here we go. Mm, salamander hunting pack. So they're about the same price. Um, this one has more armor, and it looks like they're for armor piercing. And no range attack though. Oh wait, they do have range attack. What? What? So these guys have range attack. What? How does that work? But this one's fire attack, so not sure which one's more effective. So that's cool to know. Okay, let's go ahead and go to the next one since we're out of turns. Oh. At least there's an army there. Do you see that? There's an actual army there that we're gonna fight eventually, once we once we reach them. No, I don't think there's anything they can buy that will be able to kill Nakaida, unless they have war elephants, which I doubt they ha they'll have at this point. And even then, I think the war elephants could get killed by Nakai. Something smells. Either that's uh, uh, my family's dog or someone's cooking, but it smells like it doesn't smell appetizing. Let's see. Horde construction cost, that would be good. Immune to snow attrition. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna go all the way here to get that upkeep cost down. Mm -hmm. You're a pretender. Wait, how come they can hire three? 
When I'm when I was playing them, I can only hire two. That's douchey. <clears throat> ah, crap! Attrition. Did that save my guys? Let's see. Yeah, it did. So I can always ha hide in my encampment stands, looks like. So that's good. Uh, we might need a few more Saurians. Uh, let's see. Maybe just one? Yeah, that's all I can afford. So just one. And uh, Skin Priest. I'm gonna go ahead and use bombardment. Yeah, that sh that should be good. No. So if he decides to attack us, I don't think they're gonna be able to call for reinforcements. I think maybe. That would suck if Nakai dies in like this engagement. Because technically they can if they just target him. They don't, um, lizard men don't, ha uh, they don't really have high leadership. Unless I'm just talking about skinks. I don't know. But from my experience, they keep, they, sh they usually run away after a while. He's negotiated. Looks like there's a lot more dwarven factions too. And a crap ton of orcs. See how much that. So they were able to hire two more. So um, we got six plus seven. That's gonna be thirteen. And how many are we? We have thirteen. So pretty, pretty balance. Let's go ahead and kill them. So according to this, it's pretty even. We got a lot of spearmen. A crap ton of berserkers, anti infantry, champions, and hunters. Yeah, should be good. Let's go ahead. We're kind of damaged too, and uh, uh, we don't have like uh, shielded uh, sauruses, they just have the clubs or blades or whatever you call it. Let's see, their, yeah, their melee attack is only 24. Kind of sucks. Uh, we'll see. Maybe we can crush this army first before backup arrives. Let's see. Well, so much for that. Oh, there's a rock, that's why. Uh, let's 
stupid rock messing up my game. Where's backup? Uh, let's go ahead and start deployment. Uh, I don't see where their backup is going to come from. Okay. Uh, we'll leave that on the front. Spearmen to the left. Where's the other spearmen group? Hmm. What the heck? I thought there was another Spearman group. I guess we only have one. Hmm. I guess I'll make my right side the strongest. Left side should go with a Nakai. Uh, yeah, that's good. So they got a lot of spearmen on the right. Uh, hmm. That's fine. We can do this. Uh, Nakai, I need you to go to the middle, to the front then. Uh, they're gonna hold on on the left side. Yeah, well, we finish the right side first. I think that's that's a good idea. Yeah, this should be good. So our enemy faction. Okay, should be good. Either we're gonna die or they're gonna die, so... Look how big that guy is, holy crap. And it makes like big sounds. Oh, they have a hero. Okay, so I'm gonna have Nakai engage that guy. Thanks. 
Rampage time. dead okay so you go kill this guy Oh, he ran away from Nakai already? Now oh, that sucks. They're dead already. Nakai basically killed this guy. Oh wow. And the reason for that is Nakai does so much damage. He does um like 500 uh yeah, 380 piercing damage. That's ridiculous. We took a lot of damage though. Uh most of my source units See how are we? 31 run speed, and what about this guys? 35. They're gonna round them. There's no way. There's no way my source units can uh, catch up. We're too slow. Look at this crocodile monster. Look at that. So huge. He probably eats like skinks for food. Look at that. Holy crap. I don't doubt that he's like a cannibal. Unless he, he's not, then um, he, he eats people. Look at that. Yeah, they're gonna get away. We need uh, faster units to kill them, to wipe them out. Oh well, let's go ahead and end the battle. Uh,. I was gonna try to make it like 45 minutes per episode, but we went over a little bit. But yeah, let's see how much Nakai killed. He only killed 28, even though he was the first one to engage. Most of the Saurus units killed a lot. Um, they need to just have shields. Uh, Saurus units, uh, uh, Saurus warriors with shields um, have higher survivability. Yeah, they they just destroyed the enemies. Look at that. This guy's their anti-infantry capabilities are really strong. Ah, uh, this sacred Croxigors, man. Look at that, 154. And normal Croxigors only killed 67. So somehow the sacred Croxigors are a lot better at killing.
gonna go with minus negative 15 recruitment costs and I think that's it everybody needs to heal up mm. and looks like there should be fog of war here I won't be able to see what's around the base that sucks uh, Yeah, I guess that's it. Anyway, um, that's it for this episode. Uh, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.